Okay. Apparently it was the stage light tilted, or what Ismini said. I've no idea how. No idea. Of course. That's it. Takiko noticed the position of the spotlight had shifted. I've completely forgotten what it was we were trying to consent as well. What was the point again? The killer must have tilted it to get it into Aichi's eyes mid-conflict, distracting him. Oh. They gave a clue about that before. Of course they did. Of course they did. Indeed, that's how they must have gotten him into that string trap. The strings must have been placed so they could easily tug it towards his line of sight. Goodness, just to what degree was this all planned? It does appear like it was planned for quite a while. Ah, <sighs> God, it's so easy with little details to forget them. Wow! All of you must have been super dumb to not have known them planning it sooner. Yeah, just rub it in my face, why don't you? <laughs> the fact that I forget little details, okay? Silence. The others may be, but I am not intellectually challenged. Oh, shut up. <laughs> well, since they've most likely been planning it since they blackmailed me to get all your secrets, isn't it reasonable to assume they've had this in mind before the hypnosis show was even planned? To think someone may have tried to sabotage my wonderful show. You yeah, had a bit of a delay there, mate. Your wonderful show stopped someone from screaming for help, possibly got someone killed, and ruined my muse. It's quite literally not my fault you don't get any bitches aside from me, Kyo. <laughs> what, is the, what is with this voice acting? <laughs> I like hear how Alora's being sassy and then you got that sassy Asuga sprite next to her as well. <laughs> You don't even get her. Wait, so if it was planned before the party, was there any hints at the party that something was even being set up? Well, Kotaro and Aichi were in charge of security, with Mint and Amelia helping here and there. Ugh, see, this is what I'm worried about. It can't be Mint, can it? Because Amelia's got the scissors. The gardening scissors. And I guarded the door perfectly, so it's not my fault! Shut up, Kataro. You helped Michael last time. You could have done it again. I didn't help Michael, and I wouldn't ever hurt Ichi. If you're so smart, what did you do? Well, for your information, shortass, I checked the stage and set up the spotlights. Did you see anything on them? Nope. No strings or any of that shit. And what was Mint in charge of? The vents. Oh, I do Oh, no. Is it him? Like, for some reason... And you oh. didn't see the fabric stuffed in there during the show? What was that delay? God, that was a bit of a weird one. No, I promise. With the stage and lights, people can back up not seeing them either. But with the vents, it was only you checking them, Mint. So, how can anyone back up your claims? You better not be lying. Why do you look so delighted about that? He probably is lying! He probably killed Ichi! He did it! He did it! Okay, someone just needs to take the kid out for a moment and just calm him down. Calm your titties, lovely! <laughs> do you have any proof? Yeah, where's the proof? Minty couldn't do any of that. You know, in future trials, maybe I should um, actually physically write down details that I've noticed, truth bullets and what they actually say, so that way it helps me remember them. Because I sometimes find that if I try and just do it all mentally, I inevitably just forget loads of stuff. Or solidifies it a bit better. Do I have to point out the fact his gardening shears were at the scene of the crime? No, they weren't! You're being stupid. Uh, if they were there, smartass, then why didn't anyone see them? Uh, yeah, that's a lie. I saw them. Zip it, Shinku! You've been trying to conceal a comically scissor-shaped object behind your jacket this entire trial. You're not subtle, my dude. Just admit your friend could have done it. Shut up! It can't be Minty! While Amelia's way of trying to protect him is inconvenient, I really don't think it's Mint either. Hmm. Why is that? Thank you. So, can we just move on? It sounded like Mint was very close to the microphone then. Uh. Nuh uh! You're oh. stupid! You suddenly came in out of nowhere. What's <laughs> this music? <laughs> Come on, Shishi! You're being a big hypocrite! That's no fair! Play fair already! You didn't rule me and Huey out earlier, so you can't rule out Mint's involvement somehow! So let's play until your mind is back on the right track, okay? Okay! 
A rebuttal showdown. Oh, God. Uh, it's a lot different this time. Aim is to run around and collect all your thoughts, aka all the sparkles you see around the map. I think a lot of the mini games involve running around maps in this one. <laughs> but while doing this, you must avoid the person you're arguing against. If they touch you, you'll take damage. After two rounds of this, you'll be given one final question to solve. Good luck. Tokiko is OP as fuck. Well, thanks for letting me know. Oh, God. What the hell is happening? Oh, God. Uh. All right. Fine. I'll do this. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm going to get that one. Yeah, boy. I'm coming. That's round one. Oh, God. What the hell? What am I doing here? I can't remember. Oh god. You're if I stand on those pads. You. Uh oh there we go. Advance! Okay, I was wondering what was going on there. <laughs> Taki, your argument against Mint just involves his past involvement hiding evidence for gangs. I hardly see how that's relevant. It's a fair point. Uh, besides, we already ruled out the people on lab side too. They couldn't have gotten to the lecture hall in time. Okay, yep, she's coming for me. Hey, tiny little fast talking girl. Yeah, that's actually not too difficult, is it? Oh god. Boom shit. Ow. Wow. She did a lot of damage to me. I'm coming. I'm going. Okay. Uh climbing the curtain, cutting the strings. Cutting the strings, maybe? I'll yeah. Those words. So maybe he tried to help. Those shears were probably used for cutting the strings. The initial string trap must have been the strings around Aichi's arms. So you're saying they restrained him first with the trap, then hung him with the rope around his neck? Exactly. And they must have used the gardening shears to cut the strings later to quicken the hanging. Wait, what? So the shears were simply used for one job. Ah. Mint. Okay, so we're not saying that Mint literally had them, okay. I can assure you, I didn't murder anyone. Another great defense! Your Honor, I couldn't murder them because I said so. At least they're acting as a good stand-in for Taka while he's MIA. What's up, my dude? More importantly, we can conclude that Mint wasn't lying about the vents being empty during the party. Not can to we? mention... We can rule them out, and just focus on the people who are in lab side one. But then, what was the point of the fabric anyway? You know, the trials in Baseline Danganronpa were always quite challenging. But not having the ability to just review your truth bullets at any time, and remind yourself of things, really does make it suddenly much harder to keep up with what they're talking about. <laughs> at least I find that to be the case. I think it's fairly simple. Care to grace us all with your knowledge if it's so simple? I think it also doesn't help, again, like I say, that I just don't play this frequently enough. So as a result, certain things just don't sink into my memory. Like, you know, forgetting who some of the characters are and things like that. Forgetting names. Forgetting talents. Yui. Sorry, I'm really trying to be nicer. Well, consider. Three of us were situated to meet in the infirmary. A room right next to the lecture hall. Oh, shit. If the vents weren't blocked, it's likely you'd be able to hear some noises coming from the hall. Exactly. The vents were blocked with fabric to act as soundproofing, for if Aichi got loud. Which uh, makes sense, because I don't think Ichi would just let the killer gag him without a fight first. He did say to only fight back in self-defense. Our culprit here really thought things through. Hmm. Certainly, but all the notes, the traps, the blackmailing, the little details in the lecture hall. What a little weirdo! Measuring everything right down to the width of the strings to make them hard to see when stretched out. Sounds like a nerd! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think what also makes it challenging in this, obviously, is that it's an RPG maker. So, like, obviously, in mainline Duncan Romper, it's, you know, it's first person. You actually can look at the murder scene in first person, and it has all the details. Whereas obviously with this, it's RPG Maker. So like, they've had to create the details of the murder scene with what limited assets are available. And of course, usually a lot of clues are just sparkles. So it's hard to like visualize the scene in your head, which probably makes it even more difficult. Or someone who's very good at organization and controlling people. I guess that goes to say there are, um, 
you know, if anyone is ever thinking about making a fan gun in RPG Maker, maybe there are certain things you need to take in, into account in terms of the limitations of this engine. I guess that's the big thing. Controlling people? You know, it feels like we were all played like actors on stage. Someone who's controlling people? Our place is orchestrated. Our secrets planted. Everything was micromanaged here. Someone who could plan everything to this degree. Someone who was on lab side one. I still have completely forgotten lab side one. What? I've still forgotten the complete layout of this place. So lab side one and lab side two mean nothing to me. So I'm concerned about even something as small as soundproofing. There's only one person here whose talent requires that level of precision. When organized, it's going to ask me to select someone and I have no idea because I can't remember. <laughs> um... Someone whose talent requires a level of precision when organising. Who would that be? Asuga is the circus girl? I don't know. Uh, 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 mm. Trying to think who. Or Yui as the conductor. And that is... Oh, what? Oh, he's asking me to go through them. Uh, I'm going to try Yui. Wait, what? Oh, did I click her by accident? I must have done. <laughs> well, not Dracul, clearly. Can't be Hy. Nah, I don't think it's you. Where is she at? Not you, not you, not you, you're dead. Not you. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that fucking sprite? Uh, not you. Yeah, you? I got it. Yeah. Yui. This is all your fault, isn't it? Or is this like a fake-out one? Because the mainline Duncan Romper games have done that in the past where you have to select someone. But then it's, no, it's not them. You then later select someone else. Huh? You killed him, didn't you? Okay, you're going to have to explain it to me. Because I'm, I'm having... I don't know. Just with the way it's conducted here in this game, I'm having real difficulty piecing this together in my own head. And sort of putting things together. I think it's the timings and the fact that, like I say, I've just I, I, I've struggled to find time to actually record this, so as a result I've had huge gaps between recording sessions. Things just keep disappearing from my head. I'm sure if I was actually playing it on a more regular basis, I'd probably remember things better. Huh? Little old me? Killing someone? Huh? No. No, no. You've got it all wrong. Y you... You'd have to be completely stunned no. intellectually to even consider such a thing. That voice completely changed. Oh, and we got to save. Jeez, this class trial is really heating up, huh? Is this your intermission? Well, screw that. I want some time in the spotlight. It's time for Modern Echo's super cool, mega awesome sprinkles on top Q&A. Oh, Q&A. We always love a good Q&A, don't we? First question is from Discord user <laughs> JustBlueOwo. Weird name, but okay. They ask, So, Modern Echo, do you know that everyone thinks you're a little cutie, a little scrunkly, and totally not a scary killing massacring machine? Damn right I do. I know I'm cute. I'm built specifically to appeal to your foolish standards of cuteness. Which just makes it even easier to catch you off guard. Makes sense, makes sense. Next question. This is from Shamari-chan. Okay, a slightly more normal name. What bread of cat are you, Mononeko? <laughs> what bread of cat? Sourdough. <laughs> now I've got one from Oh God, It's Leo Again. Are you aware that lemons are just yellow oranges? Well, Leo, are you aware that I never want to hear those words again? And finally, our last question is from Penny the Fucking Mouse what? Kid. What? Okay, no normal names for me, I guess. They ask your mum. You got owned. <laughs> well, that's all we've got for today. We're never doing this again. Enjoy the trial. Realistically, you're the only one it can be, aren't you? Huh? Is she? No, no, no. Come on, cheekbones. I'm trying to do better. It can't be me. Why are you spreading lies all of a sudden? Okay, I'm not going to lie. For a moment that I looked at her neck, and I was just like, whoa, what is going on with her neck? But then I realized her neck doesn't bend at a weird angle. It's just like a black bit, which is like in shadow. Why are you getting all accusatory all of a sudden? All I've ever done is help you at trials, help make the hypnosis show safe, and this is how you repay me? 
Oh, you're freaking out. Cool, that's a sprite and a half. Well, do you have anything to prove this was a baseless accusation? Of course! I was with the Suga when the murder took place. What are you even doing accusing me? Well, that's still close enough to the lecture hall to make it so you could have rushed through to go see Asuga after it. Should I talk slower? Like you're five years old? Sweetie, wouldn't someone see and hear me running through? Well, the lab was completely cleared out thanks to the notes, so... Honey, the infirmary was closer to the lecture hall, and if the lab was cleared out, they could have gotten there easily. Need I mention Ismene, Ray, and Takiko were all at the infirmary? You should focus on them! She has a point. Realistically, it's more likely one of the people in the infirmary. Mm. If I was the hypothetical murderer or whatever, why couldn't I just orchestrate the notes so I ended up in the infirmary? But dearie, if you have some damning evidence that you can use to convict me, be my guess. Do we? Cat got your tongue. No, I just don't have anything. Yet. Maybe don't admit that outright, but... Looking back to my conversation with Yui in Lab 1, while I don't know exact timings due to the clocks, I think it was around... 20 minutes. So I think Yui might be in the clear. That does feel like a pretty solid alibi. I didn't hear any running. Hmm. Are we gonna get him to talk eventually? None of the notes had exact times on them, right? Of course not. We'd realize the clocks were all broken if they did. But our meeting seemed way, way, way longer than 20 minutes! True. I reckon we were there for around 40 minutes before the body discovery. How long were you waiting for, Asuga? I'd say around 5 minutes. Albeit I didn't see the note until much later, because I was hanging out with Taka in the morning, so I showed up a bit late. So, your meeting occurred later? Leaving a... what? 20... 25 minute interval to commit the murder. So I'm guessing that's what it means. Yeah, I, 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 I don't have the times in my own head of when this took place. So I'm just relying on them to spell it out for me. <laughs> that seems reasonable. And the fact that Asuga and Yui's meeting was later seems really super suspicious. Yeah. Really does help, doesn't it, in regular Danganronpa A when it's first person and you actually see the room or the setting where the murder took place and everything else with everything laid out for you and your truth bullet is easily accessible at any time so you can review them instead of in RPG Maker where you have no ability to do any of that. <laughs> Ooh! Are we suggesting the stupid music bimbo is actually smart and specifically learned her routines? To meet up with someone to show up later? Are you supposed to be sort of slurring your words a bit? That level of intelligence seems a little <laughs> far-fetched for you, Ian. Wow. Exactly! I hate to admit it, but I'm much more the beauty than the brains. Well, I guess you'll seize on anything, won't you, if it makes you look innocent? You fucking wish! If you're any of the bees, you're a bitch. You get her. <laughs> it seems unlikely. But it is possible you will learn our patterns to that extent and use them to commit the murder. <laughs> well, he seemed to like that. She might not be as stupid as she let on. Should I talk slower like you're an idiot, Sweeney? I didn't kill him. Even if I was this all-powerful master manipulator, what kind of dense idiot would I be to not give Kiyoshi and Laura notes to? Surely, if I was as smart as you all are claiming, I wouldn't risk walking through the halls when they were walking freely around. It would simply unravel the entire plan, so I couldn't have done it. Would they have just been wandering around, though? She has a good point. Think, think, there must be something. Who said you got out through the main doors? I'm sorry? What do you mean? You must be confused, sweetie. Up through the maintenance door? Footprints? No, don't do that. Don't patronize me. Don't pull your games with me. Especially when you could have easily gotten yes. out through that maintenance door. And what then? Walked along the pipes to get to Lab 1 without having to walk through the hallway? She did climb up, though. Without any aid. We did see her do that. Old conductor girl, did we not? That could actually work. You can't be serious. No, wait! 
I saw those pipes. They were thick enough for someone to walk across if they were balanced. Yeah, but you're also literally three feet tall, so I take whatever you say with a grain of salt. Well, Mononeko, can you confirm? Can you confirm? Of course I can! I literally know this stuff! <laughs> then do you care to part with your oh-so-holy and sacred knowledge of this place? No. Please? Can you work out nothing for yourself? Please, please, please? Okay, okay, fine! Can't go through to him? do that again. Anyone here could most likely walk through those pipes if they had balance. Well, aside from Aichi, but we kind of left him... Whoa. ...hanging. Don't. So... Don't you dare. Don't you dare make jokes about our big Soviet bro. <laughs> well, there you go, Yui. There's your damning evidence. You could have gotten out on those pipes. Do you have nothing to say? No, no. I have a lot to say. I'm just taking a moment to process how... incredibly mentally stunted you all must be to think I could do this. <laughs> oh my. Seriously. Think about it, little old me, really? That's not a proper defense. Yes, but you know what is? Think about it. We had to hoist no, up the taro no. so we could reach the maintenance door. No, 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 you climbed up on your own. So please tell me, sweetheart. How the fuck could I possibly get up there all on my own? <laughs> that nosebleed, though. Footprints. Fallen spotlight. Maintenance door, it's gotta be the footprints, right? Strings. Or maybe the strings? Could she use the strings well, to get up? She could have used the curtain. Are we consenting or are we contradicting? But there's no proof of that. Well, unless you mean the footprints. Could be that. Well, hang on, let's just see what everyone else says, but I feel like there's a possible refute point there. You're being so mean to me! There's no way I could have done- I'm not strong enough to- Did a line cut out there? Wait, what? Is that not the line from before? Weird. Then how were you able to pick me up? Hmm. You're nothing but a two-faced liar! Maybe there was some other way up. Do you really think she's smart enough to use the maintenance door in the first place? She may appear weak and stupid. But there's no other way she could have left the lecture hall. Gotta focus. Well, Let's just try with mint. She could have used the curtain. Footprints, it's gotta be, right? But there's no proof of that. Yeah, it's gotta be, surely. Footprints. Oh, yeah. Wrong. That was a simple one. Break. Oh, there is. God, that took a moment. <laughs> the footprints. True, they clearly show someone used the curtain to climb up. So, Minty accidentally figured out how the killer got up there? Congrats! Um... Thank you? Do you have anything to say for yourself, Yui? Her sprite was a bit surprised. <laughs> no. Uh, not even a defense or anything? You okay, my dude? Why would I need a defense? Because you killed Ichi! Again, slight delay on the line, but there we are. No, I didn't. Besides, we may have figured out that the killer used the curtain to get back to the maintenance door, but... That only proves how the killer did it. It doesn't prove I did it. That's an interesting sprite. <laughs> they got some good sprites in this, Fangan. You clearly did it. Just give in. I... Clearly did it? <laughs> What's so funny, treble cunt? <laughs> treble cunt. <laughs> Should I talk slower like you're incompetent? You're accusing me on the basis there are footprints, I was on lap two, and the vent is blocked. You are all entirely incompetent, idiotic, and ignorant to accuse me on such little evidence. Then inform us. Who else could have done it? Gladly. Since you're all so dead set on ignoring the blatant truth, I suppose I'll help you out, despite the fact you're so eager to send me to my death. Let me run you through this slowly, since all of you seem incapable of anything above learning the alphabet. Okay, take us through. 
So the killer cannot be anyone in the infirmary due to the timing discrepancy. That is correct. But they have to be someone on lab side one, which narrows it down to me and Asuga. Which is why we suspect you. And we know the killer escaped the lecture hall by traversing the lab on the pipes. Now since you're all so smart, I'll let you figure this out. Who do you think is more likely to pull off such a risky escape? A conductor? Or a ringleader who knows high levels of gymnastics and performs high-risk stunts consistently? You know, you're trying to put it on her, are you? Let's see where this goes. I mean, I'm still not, you're not in the clear. Uh, oh, shit. And who do you think would know people's schedules better? Someone who everyone has decided to isolate and disregard as a bitch, or everyone's favorite big sis, Sugi. Looks like we found our little parasite, guys. We can go home now. Bye bye, Sugi. Do you have nothing to say? Nah, he's shocked. He wants to say. God, that was a long... God, it was still going. <laughs> We're all waiting, Sugi. What? Did Maiko's death make you go off the rails? Did you want to impress your little blonde boyfriend? Did you want to get back at your mother uh, for... Oh, <laughs> what? Just shut up! I didn't do it. What an absolutely impeccable defense. Yeah, it's, it's you, Wei. I'm taking it that Tarka's reactions are the clue. No, shut up, shut up, shut up! There's no way I could have done this! Shut your trap! Think for one moment. Why would I intentionally try to hurt my best friend? You're being ridiculous! Delay? Huh? You gonna speak up? You gonna say anything? Wow, there's not even a line for that one. Maybe that's the reason why Tarka is alive and Ichi isn't. You can't seriously think I actually did this. What the hell? Hold on, I don't think Asuga would try to kill Taka. This seems a bit out of left field. Or it was the perfect cover-up. If they attacked Taka, no one would suspect them. I didn't hurt him. I could never. J just shut up. Taka getting hurt could have not been part of the original plan. Oh? T Taka probably just walked in while she was k killing Ichi, and they attacked him out of necessity. J just look at them. They're super messed up. They're more concerned about the fact their friend got hurt than that Ichi is d dead. Sorry, I'm not saying much. I'm just letting them talk. I'm just letting them carry me along. Suki <laughs> probably killed Ichi until he was super dead. Then Taka walked in, and murder isn't usually something best friends do, so... She knocked him out and hoped he'd forget. That would explain why his attack seems so hasty and rushed when everything else is super planned out. What? What? No, 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 that is not it. How can't it be it? His wounds were totally and completely uncalculated. Uncalculated? Rushed? Give me one bit of evidence to even support that. You're accusing me just because Yui said so. It's really not my fault that I'm right. One piece of evidence that shows Tug's attack was rushed. What could that be? Well, smashed. Uh, fallen spotlight, right? It's, yeah, there's still the discolored water thing we haven't Got touched on yet. Compared to the elaborate string trap that was used to kill Eiji, Taka was just injured by having a stage light shoved onto him. True. It does seem incredibly rushed. So that leaves the question. What the fuck, Asuga? Why the hell would you do this? Are we going down this route? Is it Asuga? I don't know. I was still convinced it was Yui, but... For the love of God, Ray, can you not snap this guy out of his trance or something? Because he clearly knows what's up. I didn't. I didn't do any of this. Yes, because a killer would totally just admit to doing it. Y you did it. You killed my best friend. Y you... Listen to me. I didn't. Okay, we're just going in circles here. You didn't do this? Any proof? You know, I don't think it was Asuga. Please, tell me you have something. Thank you! No, Asuga wouldn't do this alone. This is a setup. Huh? I told you, I'm being framed! Thank you! 
The flexible fuck probably teamed up with Taka to do this. What? Think about it. They've been all buddy-buddy this whole time. They probs killed Ichi together, then Asuka knocked out Taka to throw us off. Would they? Is it that Danganronpa thing again, though? That there's no real incentive to do that? Oh my. You... You might be onto something there. Is this where we're going? Are we really saying it's Asuga? One hell of a first date, but alright. I would never! We would never! Oh god, I mean, all she's doing is just saying she didn't. She's not producing any evidence. Taka has probably already snapped out of Ray's idiotic suggestion, and is just pretending not to say anything to mess the plan up. Hmm. We didn't kill him! I hate you both so much! What would we do in the instance there were two killers? Oh, I'd have you vote for two people. They'd both get free if you voted incorrectly. And if you voted correctly, uh, two for the price of one execution? Are we actually gonna get something like that? I don't know. Seems so weird. Well, should we... No, vote? this doesn't add up. This doesn't feel right. going underwater, ladies and gents, aren't we? It wants me to go for a stroll. Okay, fine. We'll do it. Oh, is there like a path there? Oh god, there is. Oh. Oh, this is different. Sure. Oh god. Hi there. Mr. Big Moray Eel, or whatever you are. Just stay there. Chill, okay? Just leave me alone. Oh boy. Oh, that was a fucking submarine. I didn't realise. Well, that wasn't first. Huh. I mean, it's not a very big submarine. It's more like a mini sub that. Like one of those German Bibers from World War II.